Photosensitivity warning. This video may potentially trigger seizures for people with photosensitive epilepsy. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions, and in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating the water flow in a 6-inch corrugated drainage mainline. Now, this particular system we installed on our property around our pipe yard in order to help control the runoff water that we were experiencing. Now, I'm going to show you this footage in real time, meaning I'm not going to speed it up or slow it down. This is exactly the speed that the GoPro traveled through this system. So, Certain times it's going to slow up and other times it's going to be going quicker. The reason for this is because we had to work with the fall that we had around this property because we wanted this system to be entirely gravity fed. We didn't want to rely on a pump. As you can see right here, the GoPro starts to get stuck. The reason for this is because we have a lot of fall in that particular section. The water is traveling a lot quicker and it is not slowing up. An area right here, see how the water is a little bit fuller in that pipe? That's because this pipe is level. Now, no areas in this pipe are backflowed at all. We checked it thoroughly with the level when we installed this system. So, as you can see, it's still floating through the system and there's a decent amount of water at the bottom of the pipe. That's because this pipe is at level. The bubble is directly in the middle of that level when we installed this section going into this basin here. Now, there are three junction boxes, D boxes, dumb boxes, whatever you guys want to call them. We love using distribution boxes though. Whenever we are building and designing large scale systems, we like to use distribution boxes whenever we can, if they're large like this one, because it is an access point for multiple lines that enter the system and it serves as a clean out for those lines. Now, as well as having three distribution boxes with grates on top so they can collect surface water, this system has 11 downspouts that are connected into it. Now, some of those downspouts are connected directly in the main line using dual wall Ys. Other downspouts are connected into the distribution boxes and two of the downspouts feed into a large blind inlet that connects into this system. So when this system flows on a heavy rain, the amount of runoff water that comes out of the discharge end is insane. What I did for the discharge end was I installed a six inch percolation tee around a large dry well. That way it can control that runoff water so I'm not flooding out the street that's in front of me. This does a pretty dang good job at controlling that water from what I've seen based on all the heavy rains that we've had so far. And it has been through two hurricanes and has functioned very well. Now, because this drainage system discharges on a percolation tee, the very end of it builds up with too much water and I was not able to get the GoPro to float all the way to the very end of the discharge. Now, if, it's, if I was able to straight pipe this system into like a retention pond or a drainage ditch or something like that, then I would be able to send the GoPro all the way through. But whenever you discharge a system on a pop-up emitter or a perk tee or a drain box, something like that, you are going to get a roughly around like five to 10 feet of the end of that line that's going to hold water and that pipe is going to be full of water whenever you're sending a lot of water through it. So what I went ahead and did is I pushed that GoPro further down the system from the opposite end when we shut the hose off and I let it run so you could see the water slowly drain down and leave the system entirely. All right, so I know everybody likes seeing drainage systems in actual rain events. So I'm gonna go ahead and link a few short videos in the description below showing this system in some rainstorms. And I also have the video coming up of this system being installed. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really supports us, it supports the channel. Subscribe if you haven't to keep up on our latest videos and installs. And until next time, this is SWDS signing off.